This is the fourth video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last three videos, we learned the basics of the pen tool and several tips and tricks to make it work for you. In this video, we'll be talking about yet another method for using the pen tool. Start by opening your fleur de lis shape. If you want to use mine and a whole slew of excellent teaching materials for teaching high school students how to use the pen tool, you can click the I in the top right of this video to get a link to my website. Otherwise, you can find your own fleur de lis and place it in an empty Illustrator document. Either way, open Illustrator and check your layers. Just like the practice page we worked on in the last three videos, you should have two layers. One will contain the image and the other will contain the layer that you're going to work on. Double click the lower layer with your image on it and rename it image. You can rename the top layer working layer. Be sure that your image layer is locked and that you have the working layer selected. Also, check your color picker and turn off your fill and make your stroke a bright color that will be easy for you to see as you work. You may or may not have noticed there are many, many ways to complete desired effects in Illustrator. In the last few videos, I've outlined the ins and outs of the pen tool and what may be considered the old school technique. What I mean by this is that we created each line and curve as we went along. For this fleur-de-lis shape, I want to introduce even more tools that you can use in your work. You can choose to use these new ones in place of the more classic techniques, or you may just like forming the line as you go. It will also depend on the shape that you're trying to create. As you work in Illustrator, you will get a feel for the techniques that work best for you and for the given object that you're working on. On the practice page that we looked at in the last video, you were given very detailed instructions on what keys to push and how far to pull handles and where to place your anchor points. This is great for learning the pen tool, but obviously you will not have that luxury when you're working with the pen tool on a day-to-day -day basis. So now it's time to use some problem solving skills and learn where to put your own handles and anchors as you go. So let's tackle this fleur de lis with a pen tool. Of course, you could certainly trace around the shape in the old school style as mentioned in the previous video, but I wanted to give you another option. The more tools that you have in your tool belt, the better. So instead of considering each line and curve as you go, Try clicking around the shape with your pen tool with single clicks. Click wherever it seems like the curve is changing or when you have a complete change in direction. The fewer anchor points you use, the better. If you're working through this as a classroom setting, make it a game and see if you can get fewer anchor points than your neighbor. You can always add or remove anchor points at a later time. When you get to this jutting out part, just pretend that it does not exist and continue the curve. We'll have a trick later to help us with that part. Once you've gone all the way around the shape, click on your beginning point. Now we're gonna go back through the shape and edit the curves. You will be using the pen tool and the keys Alt and Command to do this. Move around the shape one anchor at a time adjust it as needed, and move anchors where they need to be. It may make most sense to start with the Alt key and move around this shape. As a review, pressing Alt adjusts the anchors and completely resets the handles. In this case, we don't have any handles, so we are creating handles as we go. Then if you wanted to, you can adjust one handle at a time so you can change directions. Obviously, you don't want to change directions when you're on smooth curves like this one. And if you accidentally do this, you can press undo a few times and undo it. Or you can go to the properties panel, go to the convert section, and click convert selected anchor points to smooth. 
And of course you must have that point selected. So once you have a good base curve, switch to the command key and adjust the handles and move the anchor points. Again, to review, holding down command as you work with the pen tool allows you to actually move the anchor point and allows you to adjust the handles without changing the curve direction. Adjust handles to the length that makes the most sense to make it work right. This will take some trial and error, so don't expect to get it right on your first go. If a curve just doesn't seem to be coming together, move on to the next one and see if you can resolve it between the two anchor points and their handles. So, creating curves, and then coming back with command to adjust each curve and move the anchor points. When you get to the anchor where you're changing directions, this is when you'll need to use Alt to change the direction of the handle. And once you've finished the shape, you may want to go back and adjust individual handles and anchors. As I work with this shape, I am always holding down either Command or Alt. Otherwise, I will just start a new line. If you don't see a handle, hold down Command and click on the anchor point and it will appear. Once you're finished with the shape, you're ready to move on to the next video. You may like and use the method laid out in this video, or if you prefer to create your curves as you go, you can certainly do that instead. Mastering the pen tool is all about learning techniques and tools that make it easier and faster for you and choosing the best method for the shape that you will need to trace. Okay, so finish this up and I will see you in the next video.